learners welcome to the course antennas and wave propagation this antenna is a horn antenna it is the best example for uh, uh, aperture antenna uh, the rectangular wave guide uh, structure is uh, uh, modified as a horn antenna in order to improve the gain and activity of the antenna uh, since in the rectangular wave guide uh, antenna more losses in order to improve the gain and efficiency the one end of the antenna rectangular wave guide is um, uh, modified as a horn antenna it is uh, one end is uh, gradually transform that is abrupt discontinuity is provided uh, flaring is done in uh, one direction either it may be the e direction or in h direction so depends upon the direction of flaring it may be called as a h plane uh, uh, horn antenna or e plane uh, horn antenna there are uh, two major classification sectoral horn and um, Uh, conical horn antenna in the sectoral horn uh, depending upon the direction of flaring uh, uh, it may be called as h and e plane horn antenna respectively in the pyramidal horn antenna flaring is done in both directions this is the pyramidal horn antenna one end of the horn is a rectangular mouth uh, input is uh, given that is excited by uh, this and uh, in another end of the rectangular wave guide is uh, uh, flared out Uh, gradually uh, it uh, transforms uh, the energy is uh, transform and it will uh, be radiated into free space uh, this is the rectangular uh, mouth uh, aperture uh, that's why it is called as uh, aperture antenna and uh, the major uh, advantage of um, uh, horn antenna it provides high gain and directivity standing wave ratios are uh, avoided in this case the major disadvantage of the antenna is designing of flare angles decides the directivity flare angle and the length of the flare should not be very small uh, these are the disadvantages major applications of horn antenna are uh, mainly uh, used for astronomical studies and also it is used for uh, microwave applications